do they mm. don't give a fuck about us Alright guys, this video is going to be taking place in Woodlake, California. Me and Gina walk up on this cop watch right here. And we hear this lady that's, um, you can tell she's very angry. Um, so what's going on here is that her boyfriend was driving her car. And her boyfriend, I guess, didn't stop at the stop sign fully. And they pulled him over. He didn't have a license. Uh, this woman right here came from her house, which was just a few blocks away. She has her license, registration, tags are up to date. She's legit, but they would not let her take her car for some reason. They still wanted to tow it, and they still did. The female officer, you could tell, had some issue with her. Check out the video. You don't have to tow her car, man. Why are you towing her car? car? Hey man, you, why you gotta take her that's car why for? That's why I asked my husband to come check to see if it was open, so like that way I can freaking get something or whatever. And my daughter was breastfeeding, so I did ask my husband to come. So, okay. And I can't take my car home, even though I have a driver's license, and I live a few streets down on Pomegranate Street. Your tags and everything are up and to date. I right. I have insurance. Everything's current. So really, bro? You're gonna car? take her car? Because my husband's a Mexican and he has no driver's license. Yeah, why are you gonna license. why are you gonna make her suffer for, man? And I have infant Stop children here. at home. Okay, you gotta have a heart. Help, so help you out? How is that helping her out? How about you help her out by paying the bill? You should ask for a supervisor. Ask for their supervisor. Ask for. You're not taking my keys. What do you need my keys for? No, they don't. They have no business getting into my car. Sir. Call a supervisor. We are. Call a supervisor and don't be saying my name. Mexican, he doesn't have his driver's license because I decided I was going to breastfeed my child and I asked him to come out here to check to see if they were open. Okay. And he made one little mistake and we, he didn't make a complete stop, but he did push his stop sign. There was no vehicles coming and he saw that. I understand. And he realizes that. I understand. But you guys want to sit there right. and tell me I can't take the right. car Look at her face. I have my driver's license. Right. Okay. Well, all and that is she doesn't care. And all I'm saying is that that's ridiculous. They can, I'm kind of, they can lift it up and they can take it, but they don't need a key because they don't need to get in my car. That's if right. It, That's right. Well, they put it in drive. It's still open. The keys. For what? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Just so you know, you are right that we don't technically need the keys to tow it, but damages can happen to your vehicle that way. I don't I, want to hear the bullshit. All right. Like, give me the bullshit. Why, why are they taking it? Because they have my In the same situation, you've never let the driver with license take the car home? With the license? Yeah, like her. Like the same situation. There's been times, yes. There's discretion we can allow, yes. Tonight she wasn't here at the time, mm -hmm. and we had already called for a tow truck before she arrived. Discretion. What What is the uh, meaning of discretion? Giving a break in certain situations. Giving correct? a break. Just like for certain misdemeanors, we can give a break. So how can we give them a break? Is it, is it, is it fair to give somebody a break on a ticket sometimes? 
Yeah, man. It I mean, is, right? but when when you got someone that's crying their heart out to you, man. I totally understand that. It's a tough situation, but and you got to think. Truck's not even but here, I, I, so you could still cancel it. You yes. know what I mean? I, so she could still drive home with the car. Correct. She's that is licensed. Correct. Her car is paid. It. Unfortunately, tonight that wasn't the choice we made. I mean, would you a little bit of leniency? Is that okay? Would you? So somebody stops you for your tenant windows instead of writing you a ticket. Is it cool to not give you a ticket? Right. What tenant windows? If you have tenant windows, like on a challenger or anything like that. Uh -huh. Uh huh. I see where this is going. I I'm do just too. Asking. <laughs> I see. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. I see. <laughs> oh, we respect you guys. You guys are fine. I thank you for letting us get close and stuff. But still, man, damn, I, that's messed up, man. She has license and everything. No, I totally understand. She wasn't here when the traffic stop happened. What does that have to do with anything? We already called for the tow truck. Man. Oh, you guys can't call them back, though? We could, but they're already on the way. It takes them a little while to get here. Give them 10 bucks, man, and let them go on their way. I'll give them 10 bucks. I'll give them 20 bucks and let them go on their way. For them driving all the way over here. How about that? No. Something about this guy that you didn't like? Oh yeah, I could, I could tell. I could tell. The one that doesn't speak. What's her name and badge number? Officer Pavoda. And I believe your badge number is 1956. 19. 1954. No, she's, she said 54. I'm going to go ahead and help her out, you guys. Um, this female officer is the one that stopped her. And when this young lady was crying her heart out, she just had this smirk on her face that she didn't give a rat's ass. And she doesn't. Tomorrow morning at 8 you can get your paper in storage. For how much? Are you asking or? Yeah, yeah, that's, so that's a question. And how much is it that they're going to charge you? Because they have to do something. The fees to retrieve from the PD, it costs $50. And that costs another $50 for the tow truck to release it. That's all. So, it'll, in all total? Approximately 50 to 150 bucks. Tell them, tell them I'll pay for it. So she can get it out tomorrow. Fucking bullshit. I'll pay for it. Real quick, I just want to say a few things, especially to the female officer. You should really be ashamed of yourself, man. You ain't out there to hurt people. You're out there to uphold and defend the Constitution. Big shout out to the officer that said my name. And big, big shout out to the lieutenant. So supposedly, this officer says it'll cost around $150 just to get her car out tomorrow. So we'll see. Here at the bank, you guys, about to pull some money out for the lady that got her car towed. And we already contacted her just a little while ago. Alright guys, I want to go ahead and... I went and pulled out 300 because you never know, sometimes they might charge her a little more or whatever. So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Alright guys, it is 7 in the morning. Thank you guys, I appreciate Take care. it. Take care.